Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mode's chemistry class. Today, we're going to be talking about deriving the gas laws from the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Some of the individual gas laws that you're probably familiar with are Boyle's Law, Charles Law, and Lussac's Law. The first thing we're going to do is try to figure out how these three equations can be found from the ideal gas law. Now, in Boyle's law, we have an initial state and a final state, which is represented in the equation by the subscripts I and F. And the, the variables that are not included in the equation are held constant, so N, the number of moles, and T are constant um, in the initial state and the final state. We'll start with the ideal gas law, but we'll put everything that's held constant on the right side. So N, R, and T will be held constant, both in the initial state and the final state. But the P and V will vary. So we need to use the equation twice. We need to use it once for the initial state, and we need to use it again for the final state but as you can see, the right side is the same. So we can set these two left sides equal to each other. And that results in Boyle's Law. We can do the same thing for Charles' Law. Now in Charles' Law, the number of moles and the pressure are held constant. Again, we'll start with the ideal gas law but we'll put it in a form where everything that is held constant is on the right side and the two variables that can vary are on the left side. Again, we will write this for an initial state and a final state and we'll notice that we can set these equal to each other because the right sides are equal to each other. And that results in Charles' Law. For Lussac's law, we can see that N and V are held constant. We'll start with the ideal gas law again. We'll put it in the form where the variables that are held constant are on the right side and the ones that can vary are on the left side. We'll write the equation for an initial state and we'll use it again for the final state. And we'll notice that the right sides again are the same, so we can set these two equal to each other, and that results in Lussac's law. Another common gas law that's found in textbooks is the combined gas law. And as you can see here, this is the situation where the number of moles is held constant. You can derive this equation following the same procedure that we used for the previous three equations. Following this procedure, we can come up with some new, unusual gas law equations that typically do not appear in textbooks. There's a set right here where if nothing is held constant, you can have all four variables. If you have only T constant, here's an equation. V is constant. P is constant. We could derive a few more equations where we hold two variables constant, such as P and T, T and V, and P and V. This results in 11 equations that can be derived from the ideal gas law, and here they are. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share the video. Thank you for watching.